Hello and welcome to the Art of Yoga Projects YouTube channel. My name is Holly Saita and today we'll be doing a short restorative class with the theme of loving kindness meditation. We'll begin in a sort of a little warm up so just finding your space, getting oriented with your mat beneath you, maybe finding the props that you would like to use. For today I have a block, I have an eye pillow, I have a blanket and also a bolster. But know that this practice can be done wherever, with whatever, so just whatever you have, finding yourself in some stillness in your space, finding your sit bones beneath you, we'll start in a cross-legged position, just to sort of get oriented and show up in our body. Let's begin with a little bit of rolling out of our joints, so we'll see if we can reach out our arms nice and wide. Pointing up our fingers, pointing down our fingers, and just rolling in nice big circles with the fingers, warming up the wrist and the elbow. And then maybe the movement even sweeps up all the way into your shoulders, kind of feeling like we're opening up, stretching wherever we've been earlier, whatever we were doing earlier today or going to do later today, finding yourself in this moment. Moving with your arm circles, either big or wide, or small, or whatever works for you. And see if you can just begin to inhale once more, reaching up, and then exhale, or reach back and down. So as we move with the breath, we'll inhale, sweep the palms up, and then exhale, sweep the palms back and down. Notice the arms maybe getting a little warmer. We'll drop the hands by our waist for now and just do some shoulder shrugs, kind of wondering, checking in with our body, how is this feeling for you, how is the rotation working out in your shoulders, forward, maybe you go the opposite direction, if you're going forwards, no going backwards, and noticing Anything that shows up for you, we'll pause and just inhale, look forward, drop your shoulders down away from your ears, and then exhale, look to your left, and inhale, look back over, forward, and then exhale, look over your right shoulder. Just kind of a big exaggerated no, moving with your breath, inhale, look forward, and then exhale, look left, inhale, look forward, and then exhale, look right. Big exaggerated no, and then maybe we'll do an exaggerated yes now, inhaling back to center, exhale, look up, or inhale, look up, and then exhale, look down, whichever works for you, moving with your breath, one breath, one movement, exhale down, inhale, rise, big exaggerated no this time, inhale, look up, and exhale, looking down, and just whatever, just a maybe roll with the neck in one direction and then in the other. Just sort of checking in with how you're feeling, how you're arriving in this moment to your mat. And just accepting whatever that may be. And we'll do one more little warm here. Inhale, open up your arms and then exhale. We'll just bring our arms and cross them in front of us. Give yourself a big hug on today's theme for today's class, we're going to focus on loving kindness meditation. So setting that inner dialogue, whatever it is that we say to ourselves, inhale, open your hearts up nice and wide, and then exhale, cross the opposite arm on top, reach back through your shoulder blades, thinking about how we can say something loving and kind to ourselves, creating that space. Maybe talking to yourself the way that you would someone that you love. Inhale, open your arms, accepting the energy with the inhale, the potential, and then exhale. Bring it all in. Give yourself a big hug. And creating space between your shoulder blades. Take a moment to pause. Before we inhale, let's do it once more, opening up nice and wide. Now just kind of spinal undulations with it as we go to, you can go wide or small, and pause for as long as you want, maybe duck your head in and just say something quietly to yourself, a may I statement, may I be present, may I be whole, anything you'd like to hear. And let's just 
we'll pause for a moment. Just place the hands next to your sit bones. Sit up nice and tall. And maybe if this moment you choose to check in with yourself or with the people around you, if you're alone, if you're not alone, then you can take this moment to sort of check in with each other. How are you feeling? You know, your name, if you're there with new people. Or just checking in with yourself. And let's talk about how meta meditation is a practice of loving kindness. It's repeating phrases like, may I, blank, to ourselves. Throughout our practice, throughout our day, throughout our lives. It's that daily affirmation. What is a phrase that you could say to demonstrate compassion and self-respect to yourself? Maybe you pause and you think of that for a moment. What could that statement be? with the eyes open or closed, repeating that statement to yourself. And if you have trouble thinking about what that statement might be for yourself, thinking about what you might say to someone that you respect and love. May you. And just sort of trying to direct that back to yourself. And then once we've checked in with ourselves with that question, we'll check in with the ones around us perhaps. Once we're done, we're going to get into a little bit of a movement practice. So again, finding your props and finding your mat, whatever you'd like to use. We're going to begin in a supine, meaning lying down on our backs. You can grab your bolster, you can grab a pillow, you can roll a blanket up if you prefer to just roll your blanket up like a hot dog. If you have a thick enough blanket, it might work out. Either way, creating a little padding and support for our spines as we lie back and recline onto whatever it may be, the pillow, onto our blanket. And then let's take a moment to figure out what we'll do with the legs. So during this restorative inspired class, we're trying to calm down. So make sure that you're comfortable whatever you choose to do. That's the number one thing. So anything I offer is a variation, but know that Whatever your body would like to receive today, wherever you're at in your practice, that's most important to honor. So a couple of options I'll offer you, variations along the way. We'll have our legs be long, if this feels nice for you. If you would like, you can bring your feet together and your knees wide, creating sort of a butterfly or a diamond shape with the legs. And you can lie back with the legs straight, with them in a diamond, whichever you choose. Once we've arrived in this posture, can we get as comfortable as possible? So finding that place of comfort where you can be still and relax. Notice your shoulders are here flowing off the sides of the bolster. Notice your palms, maybe just resting by your side. You can also rest your hands on your belly, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, whatever you choose. Finding comfort, we'll be here for a few moments to just sort of set into our practice and settle in to the breath. Maybe with your eyes open or closed, if they're open, just gazing at the ceiling or the sky above. Can you take a moment to bring yourself to this present moment forgetting about anything that happened earlier or what's going on later today, bringing your full self to this practice. Again, holding with you that meta, that meditation, that's something that you can focus on, something that you can go back to during your practice. Know that this can evolve. This may I statement may evolve throughout the class. And if you choose to change it at any time, you can do that. Or keep it the same, whatever you choose, whatever is feeling right in this moment. Feel your heart open up here. Maybe pick your heart up a little bit and swiggle your shoulder blades a little closer together. And let your self open up in the chest. If your legs are together or if they're apart, wherever's comfortable, just resting them. And taking a few moments wherever you're at 
to tap into our breath now. Breathing in as you feel the chest rise. And exhale as you feel the chest and the belly button come back towards our bolster. Noticing the sounds around you, noticing the smells surrounding you. As you breathe in and as you breathe out. When we do restorative classes, it's important to remember to find stillness. Although this isn't always the easiest thing that's done for some of us. Notice your palms, they're fidgeting. Can you let go of anything you need to do right now? Find yourself in your breath and in your body and in your pose. For a few more moments, before we just start to gently pull the feet in, if the knees are apart, gently pulling them back together. Nice and slow, bringing the feet underneath the knees. What we'll do is we'll rock over off of our bolster and set it aside for now. We'll have it there for later. And once we arrive on our spines, let's just feel our spine kind of reset on the back, the low back, the middle back, and the upper back, feeling nice and rested. We'll just start to tick tock our knees side to side. And maybe you move with your breath as you inhale one side and as you exhale over to the other side. Options to move slow or fast, but it's always nice to move slowly so you can feel more of what's going on in your body. This can feel like a nice massage for the outer hips on the floor beneath you or on your mat beneath you. And sort of like windshield wipers here, can we imagine this motion sort of washing away any sort of stress or tension our low back may hold, our backs or our hips may carry, washing that all away, clearing the view for this journey of our practice ahead of us. And once we've done this a few times, We'll pause on one side, just letting the knees fall over to the right or to the left. Open your arms out to a T. And just rest here in a little supine twist. And option to have your bolster nearby. If you'd like, you can put it somewhere as support underneath your left arm. You can kind of do a fetal with your bolster, anything that works. Pausing for a few breaths before we inhale, rise the knees up and then go to the other side. Again, maybe having your bolster nearby, knees ticked over to the opposite side, bolster by your side, maybe giving it a hug, maybe having your arms out spread. Feel the twist come into the spine, spine. Spinal twisting is good for relieving any sort of anxiety, or if you're ever feeling stuck, you can always twist it up. When we're ready, we'll bring the knees back up, remove the bolster for now, and when we're ready, we'll just start to cross the knees, and we'll just rock a little bit, side to side, and forwards and backwards, and give yourself a big hug ball up in a pose, ball pose, and repeating that may I statement to yourself. And maybe feeling your hips open up a little bit, the connection between the hips and the legs and the hip flexors breathing. And maybe roll around and massage those muscles around your spine, maybe get playful and silly with it, maybe open your knees up and just do a few swirls. And maybe just hold yourself in stillness for a moment, wrapping your arms around your knees or your fingers around your knees. Big self hug. We'll start to cross the ankles and do a rock and roll. So rock and rolling forwards, backwards on the spine, inviting a little bit of playfulness into our practice, a little bit of fun. 
And then we'll go ahead, cross the ankles in front of us. And we're gonna sit up for just a moment on our mat. Nice cross-legged position. Inhale your arms up. And exhale, reach your palms forward. We're gonna do a fold over the legs. Again, option to have your bolster. Option not to have the bolster. Another option is to bring the, knee, the feet together and the knees wide and fold like so. If you have a bolster, if you have a block, another thing you may have is a book in something replacing the block or your bolster. Whatever that is, whatever you cho choose to do with your legs, maybe they're in a simple cross-legged easy sit, or maybe you want to bring the base of your feet together and your knees wide in that butterfly position we did earlier. Crawl your fingers forward, take a breath, and see if you can hinge your hips, keeping your spine nice and straight. Being careful with yourself. Bring your block. Remember, we can set it on a high, on a medium, or a low setting, wherever you're at, in order to comfortably rest your forehead on your block in front of you, on your book in front of you, on anything that you've chosen as a prop and resting on this little prop for a moment. Rest your forehead, rest your third eye on whatever you've chosen. And again, tapping into that rest and digest, that restorative part of our nervous system. We're constantly on this fight or flight, do part of our nervous system. Let's see if you can tap into that rest and digest and restore part where everything starts to relax and just take its natural course. Again, if you're going into this pose, take a moment to think to yourself, if you're feeling any discomfort, ask yourself, are you feeling safe? Are you feeling challenged? And if any of these things arise, maybe if you're feeling safe, say, may I feel comfort. Maybe if you're feeling discomfort, maybe repeat to yourself, may I feel at ease. And if you're feeling challenged, Maybe repeat to yourself, may I be happy? Finding those words to cho we choose to repeat to ourselves, whatever they are, we're gonna walk on our hands back towards us, coming back over, taking a moment. And if you did cross one leg on top of the other, you'll switch now. So switching, if you were in an easy sit, whichever leg was on top, now putting the opposite leg on top. If you're in your butterfly again, you can remain there. Stay in your butterfly or your diamond legs. Take one more breath. Inhale into a nice tall spine. Notice the difference between slouching and sitting nice and upright, creating space in our lungs to breathe. Feel your shoulders over your hips. Maybe grab your toes. Maybe grab your ankles. Maybe grab your shins or even your knees. And then start to again hinge forward as you exhale, a breath here, and another pause with your block, with your bolster, maybe it's here, whatever it is that you have beneath you, pausing with that support, and taking a few breaths here on this side. Or if you're doing it the same way for the second time, feeling how this time may be a little different. It takes a total of like 30 seconds approximately for our body to really respond to the stretch. Also for our minds to emotionally catch up. Give yourself time, be patient. Rising up when you're ready, we'll come on out of the pose. If you have your feet together, knees wide. You maybe have this for a while. Gently bring your knees back together. Let's see if we can now come forward, rock onto our hands and our knees. 
And if you have a blanket nearby or if you have your, your mat, whatever it is, maybe support your knees. Make sure you have that support. Find your tabletop. So find your shoulders above your wrists. Find your hips above your knees. And just start to look up, maybe, as you inhale. And then exhale, look towards your belly button. Creating spinal waves, inhaling, arching, exhaling, rounding, creating space for the back to open up between the shoulder blades, high cat pose, press the floor away, create that space, and then squeeze the shoulder blades together in your cow. Maybe you close the eyes and you move intuitively with whatever feels nice for you. Maybe it's C-shapes, maybe it's up and down, creating space in our spines. We'll come to a thread the needle. So bringing your left palm just beneath your face, reach your right arm up. See if you can sit your hips back just a little bit and thread your right arm through your left palm and your left knee. And again, you can have the option of having a block here or a pillow. You can rest your face here. Reach your left arm up. Option for the left arm to come up or drape back or reach up. Finding your option and taking a few deep breaths in your thread the needle. A nice twist. And then ready, bringing your left arm back to where it was. Coming up, floating up your right arm. And then exhale, bring the right arm down. We'll do this on the other side. Note that this can be a block with your eye pillow on top. This can be a block. This can be a pillow. Just to create space between the shoulder and the neck. As we go into the other side, again, finding now your right palm beneath your face. Reach your left arm up. Inhale and then exhale. Twist, thread your left palm between your right palm and your right knee. And rest your left palm side of the face down, you can sit back more, you can sit up more. Option with the right arm up towards the top of the mat or draping behind us. Creating space and getting that stretch in the shoulders and the upper back. Going back to that may I statement that you set for yourself. May I feel at ease even during times of discomfort. When you feel all twisted up, how can you still remain calm? Take another breath into the side, into the shoulder, front of the left shoulder. Reach your right arm up. Press your right arm into the mat. Reach your left arm out of it. And go ahead and remove your block. Doing a couple more poses. Bring your, no, your bolster in front of you. We're gonna use it in just a moment. We're gonna first find ourselves in our hero's pose. So hero's pose is a couple, can be done a couple of different ways. We can sit on a block for hero's pose, right beneath our tailbone. Sit up tall like so, stretching in the knees and in the thighs. If this doesn't agree with your knees, if this isn't something that feels um, comfortable, maybe deciding to sit in it for a moment. But if you're feeling any pain, you can come out and enjoy these in a cross-legged position as well. So avoiding pain. Finding any prop that you want, if you want your block beneath you or not. Another option is to tuck the toes and make this into a foot opener or a toe opener. I think our feet are important and we sort of cram them in shoes all day long. So it's nice to give them a stretch, even invite your pinky toe in for the party. But remember, we're trying to just rest and digest here. So don't cause yourself too much discomfort. We are all at different levels, experiences, bodies, times. So honoring that whatever you've chosen in this moment. Breathing into the feet, breathing into the knees and the quads. We'll take our palms and just see if we can rub our palms onto the tops of the thighs. 
giving ourselves a little massage on the largest muscle in our body. Inhale, reach your arms up, and let's see if we can just rub our palms together, creating any sort of intention between your palms, any love or light, feeling the physical heat and the power of human touch, bringing these arms, these hands of yours to wherever you need it on the body. So your shoulders, your head, your belly, wherever you need a little extra attention. Let your palms be a messenger from the heart, sending love in that way. And if you're still in toes pose or hero's pose, whichever you're in, coming out, bringing your hands in front of you, and let your feet tap out. If you were in toes pose, it can be kind of a rush of blood to the feet and bringing it all back. If not, just coming out of your heroes. We'll see if we can just do one little puppy dog stretch here. So reach your arms forward, sit your hips back, and maybe with your knees on a blanket or not, see if you can reach your tails up to the sky. Just sort of wiggle your tail side to side like a puppy, like an innocent puppy dog. And then go ahead, bring your arms up towards you. Option to stay in your puppy dog pose. If you'd like to just get a stretch here and receive this for a few moments. Or bring your palms in slightly towards you. Tuck your toes and, and straighten your legs and kind of grow your dog, your puppy, into a full downward dog. Let your head dangle, yes, no, maybe so. Like a piece of ripe fruit on a tree, let your head be heavy. If you're not in your downward dog, you can remain in your puppy or somewhere in between. Just a little full body stretch in your down dog. You can find whatever works for you, whatever feels nice. Bring your knees back down. Go ahead, relax. We'll find our couple of last poses here, restorative postures. Just a little bit of a inversion before we get back into our restorative. Inversions can help bring the energy back up to the head from the heart. So keeping us awake, bring your hands forward over your bolster or without the bolster. We're just going to enjoy a child's pose. With a bolster or a pillow, a child's pose can feel that much more comforting. Sort of balling up in a little fetal-like position. Feel weight coming down, back. You don't want your hips up off your heels. You want your hips back on your heels as much as you can. And have your knees be at a comfortable distance beneath you. Maybe your belly is between your thighs. Maybe it's resting on a bolster. Wherever you're at, pausing in this pose, this can be a good one to do before bed or just if you're ever feeling overwhelmed. May I be at peace. Repeating whatever that is that you need to hear in this moment to self. Relaxing, restoring, feel your belly. Maybe breathing into your prop beneath you or into your thighs. Feel your spine nice and round. Before we developed all these curves in our spine, we were with a very round spine as a baby. So go back to that nice innocent feeling perhaps of being a baby again, being held or coddled. Take a few more moments here. Spending at least 30 seconds in the pose maybe longer. If you decide to pause and stay here, that's okay. No rush. Whenever you're ready, we will move on. So finding yourselves, reach yourself back up to a tabletop or all, all fours. Find your bolster on the side again. Cross your ankles beneath you. Let's find ourselves in a um, supine position. We're going to lie down. You can move your blanket if you have one. 
just up to your head for now. What we'll do is we'll finally come to our relaxation, our final relaxation. Hopefully the whole class has been relaxing. We'll do a couple more poses to help us relax that much deeper. So finding yourself in a boat pose for a moment and maybe use your block if you have one and bring it between your knees and just rock yourself back Knowing that this class is mostly restorative, deciding to stay with your feet on the ground if you choose, and just reaching your palms forward. We're making our way down to our backs. So if you want to just lie down and skip this part, that's fine. Or if you want to float your boat down with us or with me, you can keep your block as a little challenge between your ankles. Hold your shape as you lift your feet up and your balance here floating on the tripod of your sit bone and your tailbone. Can you reach your palms forward and keep your back straight? And maybe you can close your eyes, and even though this doesn't feel restorative, it's a, a core opener, a core strengthener, maybe you're, you can bring yourself to a restorative place. Maybe you can, if you, could, if you were floating on a boat, where would you be floating? An ocean, a river? Find yourself in that peaceful moment here, and then just go ahead and rest yourself when you're ready, all the way back onto our backs. Finding our final position, moving. If you have a block or a bolster, whatever you like, bringing it up to you. We're just going to Bring our legs up and bring our arms up for a moment. Feeling the blood flow reverse from the palms down into our arms and our shoulders. Bringing the palms together or apart. Have your feet be hip width distance or together. Feel the blood rush down from your feet into your knees and your hips. This is a yin posture. This can help balance out any heavy energy that we have. This can help calm our nervous systems. This helps reverse that flow. If you have restless legs, you're always walking, you're always standing up or lying down straight, this helps bring all that flow and reverse it a little bit. Instead of getting stuck Bring your feet down when you're ready. Feel your low back if you can. And lift up your low back off the ground. Make sure you can reach your, your heels with your fingers. And maybe even scoot your shoulder blades together a little bit more as you pick your heart up. Feeling nice and comfortable. Let's see if we can pick up our hips. Nice and slow with some strength of the glutes. And then slide a block or a bolster beneath where your butt and your back meet, your sacrum, that hard part of your back. You'll know it's in the right place if you can pick up your feet off the ground and not fall off your block or your prop. You want to feel supported here in your bridge. And in bridge, this is also an inversion. We're going to relax here with our block in the right spot on a medium setting or a low setting depending where you're at, medium or low, one or the other. Anything there to support us, reminding us this is a restorative class. And we'll feel all this, all the benefits of a bridge, a little back bend can give us some energy. Also, we have our heart above our head, slight inversion. This isn't an easy pose, so noting that if you can do anything to help yourself feel more comfortable, rest your palms down or on your belly, wherever works. Feel space behind your neck if you can, so your chin and your chest are sort of coming together, but don't crunch your neck too much. And like when we're on a bridge, you're not really sure when you'll 
reach the other side. It can be an unsettling feeling. But can you find yourself in this moment and remind yourself, maybe with that, may I, may I feel safe? May I feel content? Knowing that this time will pass too, like everything else. If you're finding struggle in the posture, how can you power through? May I be strong. We're gonna inhale when we're ready, pick our hips up. Again, remembering you can spend more time there if you choose to pause, go for it. Or move on, removing your block to the side, finding our final resting position. And for final savasana, it's most important that we are comfortable. That's number one for our final resting position. So noting if you wanna do anything to make yourself more comfortable, grab a blanket, rest it over you, grab a pillow, put it under your head. I do have an eye pillow here. That can help to sort of rest ourselves a little deeper and eliminate distractions, anything you can do to help relax a little further. So lying down on your backs when you're ready in our final resting position. Maybe your toes are out. Maybe your palms are open. Wherever you're at, sending this final loving meditation to someone you love. Thinking of someone in your life that you love. And repeating these statements to that person in your mind's eye. May you be happy. May you be strong. May you be peaceful and may you live with ease. And now thinking of someone that is challenging to you in your life, someone that you maybe don't love. And thinking of this person and sending this loving kindness meditation, may you be strong, may you be happy, May you be peaceful and may you live at ease. And sending whatever it is that you'd like to hear out to the community that you're a part of. Maybe choosing this loving kindness meditation to repeat to them in your mind's eye. May you be happy. May you be strong. May you be peaceful and may you live with ease. In closing out this final loving kindness meditation, repeating any sort of statement to yourself, breathing in, Breathing out. Taking your last moments here, knowing that there's no rush. Again, deciding to pause and stay longer if you'd like. Otherwise, moving your toes and your fingers, reaching your arms above your head, take a big, deep cat stretch. And rest yourself on over to one side as you bend your knees, find your head in your arms or in your hands. Pause in the fetal position. Note that the back represents the past, so anything you like to leave behind. Noting and doing so here, anything that's not serving you anymore. 
Also being grateful for everything that's brought you to this moment and take this peaceful feeling that we've all hopefully brought ourselves to with you as you come up to a seat and finding yourself back up in your seated posture, perhaps uh, same pose, a different perspective. And again, maybe checking out with the support group that you have with you, or if you're just with yourself, checking out again with whatever that may I statement had evolved to. Again, my name is Holly. Thanks again so much for joining, and I hope to see you again back here at the Art of Yoga Project. I hope to see you again in class soon, wherever you're at. Uh, just join me in this final posture. So if you'd like to, of gratitude. So if you'd like to bring your hands together or your hands on your heart, whatever makes sense for you. And we'd like to say the light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Namaste.